Now, the price elasticity of supply is another important aspect needed for understanding the behavior of sellers in the market. Now, we noted before that the law of supply suggests that as the price increases, the quantity supplied by the producer will increase along with it. So there, the relationship between the price and the quantity supplied varies directly. So what this means is that producers produce to maximize their profits. And so if the price increases, therefore their quantity supplied will increase because we can see that there will be greater profit opportunities in that market. And that's how resources are allocated in a, an effective market. So how, do, how does price elasticity affect the supply and decisions of producers? Now the definition of the price elasticity of supply is the extent to which the quantity supply responds to price changes in the market. So it is the extent to which supply or the quantity supplied responds to changes in the market price. And now, like the price elasticity of demand, the price elasticity of supply can be split up into three different categories. So firstly, we have an, elast an elastic supply curve. Secondly, we have a unit elasticity of supply. And thirdly, we have an inelastic supply curve. Let's first analyze the concept of an elastic supply curve. Now, as we know that supply, the price varies uh, directly with the quantity supply. So as we can see that there is an upward sloping uh, graph for a supply curve. And the, for an elastic supply curve, the graph, like an elastic demand curve, is fairly flat. But instead of being downward sloping as a demand curve is, the supply curve is upward sloping. Let's say that. Okay, so as we can see, if the price is at P1, to begin with, that corresponds to a quantity of Q1 supplied. But now if we consider that the price has increased to P2, the quantity supplied would therefore increase to Q2. And as we can see, the quantity increase is proportionally greater than the price increase there. And we can see that this is because producers will see that there will be profit opportunities in this market and so increase their quantity supply so as to increase their profits. So as we can see, as price increases, the quantity supplied increases by proportionally larger amount for an elastic supply curve. And the converse also holds so that if the supply decreases, sorry, if the, the price decreases, I should say, the quantity supplied would also decrease from Q2 to Q1. And it is also the same that the proportionately, the decrease in quantity supply is proportionally greater than the decrease in price. Now let's move on to the second part of unit of um, the price elasticity of supply, which is unit elasticity. And that means the change in price is proportional to the change in quantity. So as we can see, the gradient of the graph is 1. So the gradient m equals 1 in this case. So using the same analysis, if we say the price of a certain good or service starts at P1, the corresponding quantity would be at Q1. And now, if we consider that the price has increased to P2 for whatever reason, the quantity supplied would also increase to Q2. And now if we assume for this example that the difference between P1 and P2 here is the same as the difference between Q1 and Q2, we can see that there is a unit 
elasticity of supply. And that means the change in price, or here the increase in price, corresponds to a proportionally similar increase in quantity supplied. And the converse also holds. So if the price were to decrease from P to P1, then producers will see that there will be less profit opportunities or fewer profit opportunities in this market and therefore decrease their supply from Q2 to Q1. And for this example, for the unit elasticity of supply, P, P2 and P1, the difference between P2 and P1 is the same as the difference between Q2 and Q1. Now if we look at the third example where there is an inelastic supply curve, so therefore that suggests that changes in price don't usually affect uh, the quantity supplied by producers. And that could be for reasons such as uh, resources, timing, and storability um, issues. And we'll go through those different issues regarding the, um, the, the price elasticity of supply in a further lecture. But for now, let's assume that the inelastic supply curve is very steep, which may look something like this. And let's say the price of a certain good or service starts off at P1, and that corresponds to a quantity supplied at that market price of Q1, and this price would increase dramatically to P2. And as we can see that there, since the price has increased so much, from P1 to P2, producers should, in theory, increase their production. But since here, in this case, the supply is inelastic, the corresponding quantity supplied at that point of P2 is proportionately less than the increase in price. So here, at Q2, you can see that there is only a slight increase in price in um, quantity supplied. So the converse also holds true. So if the price decreases from P2 to P1, we can see that there are fewer profit opportunities in this market. And so producers aiming to maximize their profit will then decrease their supply. But however, since there is an inelastic supply curve for this market, producers could only decrease their supply from Q1 to Q2 which is proportionally less than the change in price, and that characterizes an inelastic supply curve. So to conclude the concept of price elasticity of supply, it shows the extent to which supply responds to changes in the market price. And so we have three different concepts of price elasticity of supply. We firstly have the elastic supply curve we also have the unit elastic supply curve and also have the inelastic supply curve.